All right, we're back. Wolf and Pooch with another episode for you. And uh, today we're talking about what uh, a man needs to do to get the respect of a woman and what a woman needs to do to get the respect of a man. So, um, Jay, you, you, we're going to start with, you know, what you think a man needs to do in order for a woman to respect him, right? So what do you think, what qualities do you think a man needs to possess? Confidence. Confidence. Confidence is definitely. one. You definitely got to have confidence, right? And respect. You got to sure. respect yourself in order for her to respect you. So you got to be a man of confidence. You got to be a man of value. She has to... A woman likes likes a man who she sees as better than her in a way like a man she could look up to you know mm -hmm. and in terms of security in terms of you know just support um and women are more emotional men are logical so she's going to look to you for guidance at times mm -hmm. you have to be a man who's a leader a very purposeful man i believe because mm -hmm. if you're on your purpose and you're on your grind then you're showing her that you're chasing something that that you have mm -hmm. morals you have values that Thank you're goals. not yeah yeah, yeah you have things driven. you want to accomplish <clears throat> you're not just sitting on the couch you know watching her work and right. because yeah. that's not a way you get respect you so it all comes down to building your mind your body how you carry yourself and your finances as a man. Sure. I know. mean, I will say this. Morals and values is the first, is what sticks out to me the most. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I highly respect a man who has morals and values because there seems to be a lack of it these days. So that that's probably the most important to me. Because mm. if he has that, all the other things I feel like are going to fall in place. <clears throat> that's kind of the core. Okay, what well, if he core. got morals and values, but he on the couch, bro? If well, here's the deal. You respect him still? Well, it depends if he's broke because did he just lose his job or is he just not doing anything? Because a morals mm. a man with morals and values is gonna be ambitious. Okay. And he's gonna be working towards something. Okay. He's not gonna you know, okay. that's why I feel I like try to catch you. Good one. I know. Okay, okay. See, that's just not okay. fair. Okay. <laughs> so for me, <clears throat> a woman really needs to exhibit a lot of the same qualities. You know, she has to have morals and values to be respected by a man. She can't, you know, <clears throat> carry herself in a way i mean you know like and this probably sound old-fashioned to some people but i really think a feminine woman is probably the most attractive if you're i'm not saying not to be have independence or be independent by oh, any okay means. describe what a feminine <clears throat> woman is because a lot of that word gets thrown out a lot so break that down what's a feminine woman a feminine woman is someone who well there's a lot of qualities that go into that but the first one i think of is not carrying your like the way you dress right you know, you know what? You could still dress sexy and cute and not look like a hoe. All right. Mm. You could, you know, you really can. You could right. accentuate your curves and all that, but like you're still, but you don't have to have be spilling out. Mm. Right. So I think the way you carry yourself, True. what you dress, okay, that's a feminine quality. Also, True. just not being too harsh. You could be direct in a kind way and you could still be feminine. I think. Like, mm. you don't have to, you know, and what I mean by harsh is like, you know, raising your voice all the time to be heard or this, this, and that. You're going to be heard a lot better if you have a, a even-keeled tone and you can get your point across. So, yeah, that's another feminine trait, I think. Also, just, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, those are the first two that come to mind. I agree. Can you think of any others that I may have missed? What What is feminine to you? Uh, uh, a submissive woman. To me. Here we go. And that's another <laughs> thing that gets misconstrued. Construed. Submissive, it doesn't necessarily mean like she's like, you know, at your beck and call. Not slave. Yeah. No, she's not doing that. But, you know, we did a show about this. A woman will submit to a man if she he makes her feel safe and comfortable. So, yeah, I don't feel like, I feel like that, that needs to be earned. That is not a giveaway straight away. Because I'm, I'm not going to do anything like that if I don't feel like the man, first of all, deserves it. And second of all... Um, isn't making me feel like I'm comfortable to do that. So, mm. um, but yeah, I also, you know, again, to getting back to the traits, morals and values, the, the feminine thing. Um, and just, I mean, hmm, another thing that a man would respect about a woman. 
that is important. I mean, I feel like she can't be too dependent on a man. See, it's kind of funny because you said a man mm. wants a woman to be dependent, but some men do. Don't you think, do. it's, an, don't you think do. it's an attractive trait for a woman to not be completely dependent on you and be able to, yeah, to have me. her own goals, careers, ambitions, all those things, like and have it working towards her own, you know, well, goals. Uh, yeah, and yeah, she could no. Still do, she could still be doing. <laughs> she could still be feminine and submissive and all those things that you were talking about, oh, okay. but still be doing that. I mean, you know, you oh, could okay. be, you know. Well, I mean, well, would you? Would your ideal woman not have a job? I'm just curious. No, she can have a job. I yeah, don't mind. I mean, you know, some dudes be like, oh, a woman it. can't pay for something and this mm. and that. Like, that's doing too much. You know, if a woman want to pay for some or go half, that's cool. Every I'm not saying every time, right. but, right. you know, but I don't see nothing wrong with that. I don't see anything that. wrong with that either. No, so that's what I'm saying. It's like, you don't have to be, I think it's, I think it's a respectable thing to offer. You know, mm. now if you're the one always offering, well, I don't know. I would, I would definitely think, okay, yeah, well, something's yeah. going on with this guy. Like, yeah. that's not okay. Because <laughs> there has to be some equality there, especially when you're first starting out. Now, if you start to share finances and things, whatever, that changes the game a little bit. But I'm saying, you know, as a general rule, when it's starting out, if one person's doing a little bit more than the other, hmm. so yeah, I think it's respectable if a woman you know, offers to pay or, you know, like wants to like do something nice for you. That's maybe a little bit more over the top than usual or something, whatever, you mm -hmm. know, like that's a nice thing. Like what's wrong with that? But some women don't think that they should do that. They don't think that's their well, place. But here's the thing too. Sometimes when women pay for stuff and start to, you know, um, you know, let's say they start, they paying for the bills or whatever. Then they'll turn that against the dude and be like, oh, well, you know, I'm doing everything and blah, blah, So that's why you can't let it happen. Like, I ain't talking about really bills. for something. I'm talking about like going out to eat or something mm. like that, you know. I guess bills you could go have with a chick, but don't let her be paying the whole thing or else she's going to use it against you. Simple well, that. and and I in an and argument, she yeah, I think that's hand. something that needs to be you know kind of talked about ahead of time as far as you know what's what, like what you both are comfortable with. I think yeah. it's just a conversation, but yeah, not one person shouldn't do put some to the table. Well, some men would hold that against women too. What if he was paying for everything and she didn't ever contribute? Some men might have a problem with that too. Yeah. You, don't, you don't think a man would ever hold that? Oh, I I did all this for you. Da 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 da. I mean, there's some men that will do yeah, that yeah you got mm -hmm. the but them them like the insecure type dudes them ain't the real you know I'm not gonna throw it in a girl face and be like I did this and that for you you know I never did I never been a one to do that you know it's usually the chick that do that I feel like that's something like a female because that's letting your emotions get involved you feel me I think a person would only to, maybe do that of. if they felt like they were the only ones doing it all the time, right? Yeah, like, if, yeah. if they're doing that just to do it, then they need to figure, are you giving to give? Or are you giving to, like, you know, what's your reason behind it? But, yeah, there has to be a balance, for sure. Absolutely. So, yeah, those are the things I could think of, but... Um, what? So, those were the things to how to get a man to, to respect, respect a female? You. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about how you carry yourself, your morals and values. I, you know, I thought, all right, being feminine, of course, you know, having some independence about you, not just completely relying on a man. You know, I don't, I don't think that's an attractive trait. However, there are some women who really buy that's into how the they whole. Want. That's thing a turn off of, for like, me. That's a turn off. Like the man's supposed to do everything, or what can you do for me? Oh, I need my nails done, hair did, everything did. Now I understand a man taking care of his woman. When she's earned it, but not just to right every off the time, bat. Not every once in a while, not every time you think a man should do that. Every what? single time, every time a girl gets her hair done, you think like I'm gonna ask you, can you take care of my hair this week? Come on, I need to do that. No, I said when I said if you want to do that, like when oh, she's right, earned right, it, right, right, then right, right. you may be okay. Let me do that, but not if she's demanding you. You know, like you need to do it. No, hell no, that's right. a big turn up. Yeah, yeah, no, I I agree. So, it should never be expected, right? It should yeah, be a, nah. a nice gesture. But a lot of guys do that in, in hopes to please the woman, in hopes to and also sleep with the woman, and, or you know stuff like that. But once you start doing that, then you gonna have to keep. She gonna keep you expecting. Some, do you think some men do it as a form of control? Yeah, that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I think some women because it's like if I well. feed you, I could starve you. You know, so yeah. that's why some men <laughs> will want the woman to depend on you. You know, but that ain't the right reasons. You know, no, you shouldn't do it just because. All right, I could cut off, cut you off at any time. But. No, that just Damn, yeah. sound like the oh. government. Shit. <laughs> uh, nah. That's not love <laughs> at that point. That's that's an arrangement. That's what it sounds like. Oh, we. So. But all okay. right, uh, I think that was it for this one. Um, I know I really can't pretty have much, much more. sums it up. As Life. far as a guy, <laughs> hold on, let me say a few extra closing statements. So as far as a guy, you just gotta, you know, you gotta give a woman something to look up to. Simple as that. Simple as that. She can't feel like she better than you, or she won't respect you. Simple as that. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the socials, follow the TikTok. And um, comment. We like to get comments and respond to them. See what you guys think. Till next time. Y'all stay blessed.